What's up everyone, it's Hector here again with another anime figure review and this time I have another version of Sin Akashi Wazaki from the anime Haganai. The second season is called Haganai Next. It's also called Boku wa Tomodachi ga Sukunai which translates into I don't have many friends. I've reviewed both seasons of the Blu-ray. I have one version of Sana right here with their PSP in the anime they call it Playing States Portable to uh, stay away from cop copyright infringement. And then this shelf right here has other characters from Haganai. And it kind of seems like this Sana is kind of like matching this um, Yozora. Almost forgot her name. So this is a 1-8 scale pre-painted figure from Kotobukiya. Kotobukiya usually has some of the best sculpted figures. I'm not sure who sculpted this one because most of it is in Japanese on the box. Um, there's one big window on the side to let a lot of, a lot of light in. A small window on this side with um, just pictures of the figure. There's no illustration, just pictures of the figure. And then on the top there's another window. And of course up front, up front is the biggest window. And so you can display the figure just like this inside the box if you don't want to unbox it. But I'm going to unbox it because I, I like displaying my figures. And this is a pre-owned figure I got off of eBay. So if there's any scratches or marks or anything, it's not Kotobuki's fault. It is the original owners from eBay. It comes with instructions, which is good because it has about five pieces of accessories or whatever. It has the stand which says, Boku wa tomodachi ga sukunai and made in China 2011 and all that and the figure itself with a with a cherry in her mouth apparently the head can come off and that's how you put on the uh, the tie it just says pull it up but it's not coming off wow that head was really stuck on there I was a little afraid to pull it off but yeah there it goes so you can put the necktie like that going down her breasts put the head back on you can also put the cherries just on the side it says so it doesn't attach to anything uh, the butterfly said so just just goes on her on her knee what how the heck are you supposed to attach it it just rests on there And then these other pieces apparently go on her bottom to like kind of um, prevent you from seeing her underwear. Oh yeah, the legs come off too, but it doesn't even show that in the instructions. And as always, there's a little bow on her underwear. I don't know why that's always there in Japanese stuff. Do her legs come off? Because that would be a lot easier to put on this, this other piece. So I knew it, the left leg does come apart. Uh, it was pretty tough to come off. I was a little scared that I might have might break it because I have broken other figures that I was just unboxing because it seemed like some pieces come apart. But there's like no way you can get this, this part of the skirt in between her legs without opening up her, well, detaching her legs. So the legs come apart, the top part, the torso comes apart, you got the skirt. Got the bottom part of the skirt, the in-between part of the skirt, an extra butterfly that just balances on her knee, I guess, and then a little basket of cherries. So I'm gonna put this together, do a close-up for everybody to see, because it is really, really detailed and beautifully painted 1-8 scale pre-painted figure from Kotobukiya. Anyways, let's take a closer look. So my thoughts on this figure, it's painted beautifully, it's sculpted beautifully, has a bunch of different accessories that you can choose to add. I like the butterfly, but there's no way to actually connect it. You just have to balance it on her knees. So that's a minus. Um, well, most of the painting is really great. I don't like the little red circle around her knees. I don't know why they chose to do that. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't the previous owner because on some of these pictures, it looks like it's still there. Another thing about this figure is the base. At first, I didn't really like how it was two levels. You know, it's part of, it seems to be part of this double set and the Yozoda figure only has one level base. The Senna figure has two, two levels. 
but her feet don't don't really touch the second level. You know, if the figure, if her back and her butt was on the first level, and then her feet actually touch the second level, that would make sense. But then when I try and put her all the way on the first level, you can see her butt is still a little bit raised. So her feet are kind of tilting off the ledge, but it still isn't really making contact with the bottom level. So that's kind of weird in my opinion. And I don't know, it's like you kind of want to give it points for trying to do something, something new and then, you know, going down on this stair step. But then you got to subtract points because they didn't actually really pull it off. So yeah, I really like this figure and I definitely recommend it to anybody who likes Hog and I. It might even replace this Senna figure as my favorite. Uh, well, this one, she's all happy and has her little fang hanging out and has her PSP. But then this one, she's all sexy looking and then is eating, you know, cherries. So I don't know. It's I guess it's two different genres or whatever. But uh, that's pretty much it. If you liked this video or appreciated me doing it, you can give it a thumbs up. And I'll try and find a listing on Amazon for this figure in case any of you want to buy it. I'll, and if I do find a listing, <clears throat> I'll put a link in the description. And if you use my link, I'll get a small cut of it, but it won't cost you anything extra. It'll just help keep my YouTube channel and my websites running. Um, you can also subscribe to my channel for more collectible reviews just like this. I still have a ton of figures to unbox over here. Um, and hopefully when this pandemic is, you know, dying down, then... They'll have some conventions going on. I can check out more collectibles, do some cosplay, and and all that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this Kotobukiya figure of Sena Kashiwazaki. One-eighth scale pre-painted Sena Kashiwazaki from Haganai or Boku wa Tomodachi ga Sukunai. Sculpted by Takaku and Takeshi from Epoxy Parfault. Or is it Parfait? No, Parfait. That was an I, not an L. My bad. Um, yeah, and it's only a few inches tall. So yeah, subscribe, like video, leave some comments. See y'all later, and keep on collecting.